It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Uh, now, um, we're also joined by comedian Greg Hahn, who is uh, behind the glass. Hey, Greg, how are you? Thank you so much for having me here back in the show. Everybody's Woo! here. Yeah. Oh, don't be afraid of me. I got the Moderna. It's great. I got my tracking device. I'm sterile. My head's going to cave in. Come on. We got the vaccines, baby. We're ready to go. Yes. Uh, you're looking, looking, I like this. this He's is, chipper, isn't he? I like this new format. He's in a different room. Right. Uh, there's no spittle flying. Oh. The, I didn't hear uh, that before. The, the glass wall doesn't enter. Intercept. It's too bad you can't smell me. I smell nice. I'm wearing my Night Panther Old Spice body wash. Oh, how about that? Sometimes I put on the Captain. They got like a million flavors. Sometimes I combine Captain with Night Panther. I come out smelling like Captain Night Panther. Yeah. Oh, wow, cool. Captain Night Panther. I'm going to watch that show. What does he smell like? I bet he smells good. He oh, smells yeah. great. Now you, I know you're a very handsome man. I actually was uh, talking to a gentleman yesterday. He uh, was interviewing me about Greg Hahn. Oh, really? I can't believe you did that interview. It was so nice of you. And he, uh, you know, he, if a policeman comes by and asks you about someone, they're not interviewing <laughs> you about Greg Hahn. I was, okay. I was explaining that he's a very handsome man. Um, he was a uh, was it a captain in the United States Marine Corps? Is that correct? Yeah. As a matter of fact, we should count off one. Two. Oh, we did the two or the one? Well, I'll, I'll do one. 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 No, no he's two. the only one here. He's one. Oh, he's oh. in. Yeah. From left to right. I'm not count a Marine. off. One. Two. No, no. I, he's oh, not. He's well, not. we got it up to two so far. Okay. That's good. I think he wants you to count, you jerks. Okay. Oh, I thought. God. Yeah. Try it again, Greg. We're ready. From left to right. Count off. One. Two. Three. Four. I don't well, you we're... you changed the direction <laughs> on us. No insane. good. I'm... No good. This no is good. We too slow. Doomed. Get back. Well, great. We I can't don't wanna... even count. To... I don't want to steal valor. I don't oh. know if I'm allowed to do this. Okay. You know? I'm not Very a tough good. guy. I agree. Okay. When well. I go to date, I make her count off. One, two, and then we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're looking very handsome. Um, Thank you. Uh, with, the, with the light in there, it's a little bit hard to see. Um, what? Uh, look, you've gotten a little sun. Um, a little sunny sun on the skin there. And, and your, your, your hair looks <laughs> a nice. So, sunny on the uh, skin. I can't tell. What color is your hair? A little bird's eye maple, witness protection 22, a little uh, Bozo 9. Oh, oh it's a nice <laughs> nice mix today. Nice oh. mix. Don't you mean it's a new shade of faith? <laughs> yeah. <Wear a> mood wig. <laughs> uh, Greg is also, uh, by the way, now that uh, these, uh, these offices are opening up here and there, uh, there's nothing funnier than having Greg Hahn for your uh, Christmas. Christmas party or Halloween party or Thanksgiving shindig. It's a blast. The uh, the, the <laughs> corporate um, the corporate gig. I I will never forget the time we brought Greg in and Greg uh, he's is a former Marine. It looks like a relatively um, normal human being. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you would think. He's not assuming. Yeah. Puts, puts on a suit, a nice crisp shirt. Clean looking, uh, a decent haircut. Decent. Um, decent. Well, VIP what? member of Sports Clips. <laughs> there you go. You get the towel. You get the towel. Hot towel. I'm yes. with you, man. Okay, but I mean, you're, you could definitely be sort of like uh, Joe Average. Okay. Uh, works in Joe, an office. Joe six pack. Works in an office, and uh, we we brought him in, and then uh, he he pretended he was a, uh, a consultant for about thirty seconds. Then we let him go nuts. <laughs> Cut one guy's tie off. God, it was the funny. The lady sitting next to me said, if he doesn't stop, I'm going to wet my pants. <laughs> so uh, that we, he's Ambassador he's, Hotel. Um, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, oh, well, thank That's you. That's where Bobby got shot. Uh, thank yeah. you. Thanks for bringing what that What city was that? Was. Uh, Los Angeles, California. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, uh, right, right after right. midnight, June 5, 1968. <laughs> oh. Oh. Good luck, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent time. Hello, Excellent time. Bob the Top but, Show. I'll take Sirhan Sirhan. <laughs> Break his thumb if you have to. Break this, his thumb. This is on Josh. <laughs> Hey, man, I don't know if I told you guys or not. I heard Greg bragging about being a VIP member in, in Sparklips. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> but I decided to apply for a job as summer's a summer camp counselor. Oh, very nice. <laughs> yeah. oh, Best God. job in the world. It's going to be a VIP to kids because I probably know more about being a, a role model or moding these small fries mines than anybody I know. Uh-huh. Really? Right. <laughs> and the way I got to figure, these kids are basically just many adults like us, but with better credit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, ki- kids have great credit. I already set up a rent-down living room, you know, under my son Whoopi's name. Hey, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> whole living room set. Only 48 more payments, Christy, and them wicker love seats are mine. Oh, oh lovely. <laughs> oh, and Christy, I also took liberty of co-signing your name for you. Mm-hmm, how you know, feeling? Save you a trip. <laughs> but anyways... When I was growing up, we had this kid named Ray Jr. His dad owned Big Ray's Savage Yard in Pay Lake, right off Real Route 52. Oh, nice. Big Ray's. <laughs> so, summer, my eighth grade year, my mom Phyllis sent me to Big Ray's summer camp out there. Really? To inspired me to be a camp camp. Well, we'd start every day, Tom, by saying Pledge of Allegiance. You know, followed by three hours of separating aluminum from steel. Sure, sure. <laughs> a trade. Then sure. we'd all Indian wrestle to see you got to operate the car crusher that day. Wow. And yeah. if you lost, he's in charge of pulling and refilling battery acid. Ooh. So <laughs> that way Big Ray could resell him down to swap meet on the weekend. <laughs> and looking back, I'm starting to think this wasn't even a summer camp at all. I think Big Ray just found his way around you know, child labor laws with it. Sure. That is cool. We got to sleep in the back seat of these old junk cars. <laughs> yeah, make scary stories about how them stains got on the seat cushions. Oh, <laughs> God. Ghosts. In the final night of camp, all the parents came and we roasted hot dogs over fire from old tires. <laughs> uh, you right. laugh, Christy. Not only were the weenies well done, it also kept the rats away. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, who's that sexy man with a deep voice? It's Ace. Uh, Ace Cosby. <laughs> Here he is with his joke of the day. But Josh told me a while back he's getting a dog, but I didn't give a chance to recommend a breed that actually can unlock your front door. Oh, what breed is that? Yorkie. I don't get that. I can't open my door. Well, you need your key. You need your key. Oh, your key. Oh, that's funny. (laughs) (laughs) See, even when confronted with unbelievable evidence, just insists. Oh, that's funny. (laughs) That was the Omaha Steaks. Dot com Ace Cosby joke of the day. Because dads everywhere want Omaha steaks for Father's Day. They don't want a tie. And the beauty of the Omaha steaks gift, you get to eat part of them. Dad, you don't want that filet, do you? Yeah, I'm going to eat that. Um, That's nice. Get the filet and then take it away. Oh, if your dad's a vegetarian, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dad, we're having a barbecue. You're going to enjoy your onion. You never bought a, <laughs> you never bought a gift for your, your parent that you wanted? Oh, are you kidding? For your parent, your partner? Heck yeah, of yes, course. Everyone does that. I've never everyone got a gift for my parent that he wanted. <laughs> oh. Or that he's yeah. found in the last he's open a year. And I used to do that yeah. all the time. Every year at Christmas, I'd get my mom a hooker. <laughs> And she'd say, you know, I don't really need this. And I went, well, well, I've got to use it. Why don't, why don't you take it, honey? Yeah. Well, okay. Just adjusting your belt. No problem. Oh, <laughs> that, can I light your cool? <laughs> Cinnamon. That's the stance. Suzette is the name of It's a stage name for a hooker. Uh, let's it see, is? where were we? Uh, Christy Lee is over there at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. What have you got for Costco us? News. They're bringing back their free samples. Hot dog. According to USA Today, the samples are making a full comeback this summer. About 170 of Costco's approximately 550 locations will bring back sampling by the first week of June. The rest will return to full sampling by the end of the month, end of June. A Costco spokesman said increased safety protocols will continue to remain in place with all samples prepared behind plexiglass, prepared in smaller batches and distributed to members one at a time. That include gas? Yes. Are they giving samples out of their gas? <laughs> <laughs> Just little little ramekins. Try little this decanter of gas. Open, open top. Try this yeah. in your uh, tank and get back to us. Yeah. And if you're a fan of the Costco lunch, they intend to bring back seating at half capacity to food courts by next month. Mm. Boy, those are always busy. Always yes. busy. Their it's lunch must be fantastic. Unbelievable. They have how like many a chicken people. bake. They oh, have a yeah. great oh. pizza. They have really good pizza. Do you find that tasting a new Triscuit tastes better out of one of those paper cups? <laughs> I do. Do you? 
Oh, absolutely. I do not get the samples at Costco. I don't either. Don't they have wonderful hot dogs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, good, cheap. man. I want to, but I, it's what people expect me to do. Uh, yeah. I'm not, uh, you know that guy. You don't get a hot dog? No, see, here's the problem, Greg. Josh doesn't want his fans following him around, <laughs> waiting for him to start sampling food so they can walk up and say something to him when he's chomping. Right. And, yeah. and when we say fans, we mean Tom is going to follow him around. Oh, one yeah. of my greatest moments one day, I saw Josh, Josh in the grocery See? store. And I walked up to him. <laughs> See? In Josh's defense, he was buying some stuff for other people. He had a cart full of some, like, snack cake. Well, you know, like, dials, thank you very much. <laughs> you didn't like that stop, you did you? It was not full. I had like three boxes of chocolate. Larry, I took a because picture. They of were no longer available in the St. Louis area where sure, I'm from, so I was sure. sending them. Pat! I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was sending them back. And uh, yeah, Tom caught me and took photos. Yeah. And then he photos. took pictures of me checking out. Uh -huh. While he was taking, weren't you shaking and laughing and red face? Oh, yes. man. Couldn't Pointing stand fingers. It. No, it's funny. <clears throat> it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was what? Do you find yourself <laughs> ever sampling something and, the, and then buying it? I have. I have. Yeah. I've done that with cheese. Mm. They come up and they go, try this cheese. You go, that's, what is this? Stuff? I did it with methamphetamines. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 A little Yeah. A lot of fun. Yeah. 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 I, I, we joke about your dating, but I mean, seriously, you're a, a mature man to a degree. Uh, you, were, <laughs> you were you were in the, I mean, you know, you're mature enough to be allowed into public places. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, you um, are were a, a, a United States Marine. I was in the Marines. You know, you know what kind of girl I'm looking for? What, what? are you? A looking girl for? that share that that shares my hobbies. Oh, yeah. the same hobbies. You know what I mean? Like a girl that doesn't like to camp. One of my favorite things to do is never camp. You ever not camp? Oh, I love you. Oh, you check into the Marriott. You take a hot shower. Order room service. Oh, you not man camping after my is one heart. of my favorites. So that's the kind of girl you want to marry. Oh yeah. If okay, I won good. the lottery, I'll tell you the first thing I would do is not fly to Australia. You never not done that? Got to sit on a flight for three weeks? No way, man. Wake up late. Go to Starbucks. Hang out with Flip the bookie. Oh yeah. Hey, how is Flip these days? Yeah, oh, he's good. He's I own twenty grand. It's great. Okay, thank you. I'd uh, like to go to a shrimp boil. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, to not go to one? No, I'm just saying I don't like going to Australia. is beautiful. Whatever. The joke's over. How's the <laughs> Christy, what's in the news? <laughs> I, no, I don't think the joke's over. I, I want to go to a shrimp he boil. Says it's <laughs> over. Like it's over, to to Tom. Right? No, okay. <laughs> Tom, you like peel and eats? Oh, there oh, you yeah. go. Oh, I invented that. I oh, oh, shoot, that's right. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I forgot that's one of your... Yeah, yeah, I invented that and the trombone case. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so many, for a while there, they were just walking around with trombones. I, do I wish I had something to put this in so I can... I, I do remember where I was sitting, biting into one of those big jumbo, gigantic shrimp. Here we go. No, no, no. And someone said, uh, you know, they... Didn't cut out the mud, mud vein. vein. Oh, never heard that term, mud vein, before. And then they elaborated on why that was just the fancy way to say <laughs> poop shoot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Since then, I... Mm. <laughs> what, very, very, what, very, what, so you don't eat shrimp anymore, do you? No, no, I do. Uh -huh. Shrimp but poop if, is just if, more seafood. If, if you do eat shrimp... <laughs> say, lighting if you do, fast. If you, do eat, if you do eat shrimp and you're allergic... Uh, what don't is eat it? cicadas. The FDA is saying seriously, yeah. that, uh, this is no joke. Right. Don't eat cicadas. Because They're in the shrimp lobster family. Yeah, that's a real thing. Now, I, I thought we'd go to some happy news. Oh. Yeah, this is a sweet story. Who died? It's not. Oh. No, they're still alive. A pair of 100-year-old twins in <laughs> Prince George's County, Maryland, celebrated their birthday. Fraternal or identical? With a drive through party. <laughs> that's a fair question. Yeah, are they just womb mates? Although, I guess it's... <laughs> I guess at a, at a hundred, you probably really couldn't tell the difference. Well, they're girls, and I don't know. They okay. could be. I don't. It doesn't say in my story whether they're fraternal or identical. I apologize. Same-sex twins are always identical. Is that right? No, they're not. You guys didn't know whether or not to I, believe I, me. I had to think for a second, but I'm like, no, they're not. WJLA. Oh, I'm ready. Uh, yes, stories that count from people who care. Yeah. Oh, pretty good. Pretty That's good. almost real. It is real. Oh, Report that real. the county it's officials long. reaching out to you. Yeah, that's short enough. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. nice. Recently, through a drive-by parade, How to about celebrate. Let me try it. Go ahead, do, do it again. Oh, do what again? 
Oh, uh, 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 from, according yeah. to WJLA, pretending we're sincere. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> Do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> Willie's got one. According to WJLA, the news. The, uh, we wrote it down, and now we're going to tell you about a big guy. Come on. <laughs> yeah, come, come on. on. I like the big guy angle. Just, you like you're that? just sitting in a bar listening like to the news. I like it. It's can a guy I, that works I, at a gas station, calls everybody big guy. Of course you can, Greg. According to WJLA, get up and mingle. <laughs> Oh, so that's for the morning show? Okay, I like okay. it. I, I got like one more, that. Josh. Go ahead. Oh, according to WJLA. Bringing balance back to local news. <laughs> that's pretty good. That, that, that sounds serious. What the hell's that all about? A little long, yeah. too. It's like the yeah. local news <laughs> needs to eat a little yogurt. <laughs> Evidently, or they're always falling over. You guys ready to, for yeah, to go I'm back sorry. to the damn story? Yep, yes, going, you guys. We thought you needed a break. Uh, sorry, Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do you any favors anymore. Karen. The county officials recently threw a drive-by parade to celebrate sisters Elaine Foster and Evelyn Lowe, who turned 100 on March 31st. Do they dress alike when they're 100? The suit. Well, the yeah. Magic depends. We're supposed to yell, wear these giant yellow bows. Oh. The two centenarians received gifts, including flowers, balloons, gift baskets, and gift certificates for their favorite restaurant. Oxygen. <laughs> Thanks. Their favorite sisters restaurant. Sisters said they cannot wait to have some sangria when they get to go out Ooh. to eat. Oh, uh, at 2 30 in the Very afternoon. Nice. <laughs> I mean, come on. Are you all happy now? Uh, no. Boy, it's going to be sad when one of them dies, yeah. huh? Yeah. The oh, other so one goes I bet on. the other one goes cool. So this is, I'm sorry, so this was a drive-by party? What is it? Yeah, drive-by parade. Keep okay, it safe. So, keep it safe. Yeah. Oh, well, it was oh, March 31st. Oh, was, I see. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if they're still alive. Aren't old people immune to corona? <laughs> what are their names? Elaine Foster and, I, <laughs> and Evelyn, Evelyn Lowe. Lowe. Yeah. Hmm. You found them? They're dressed alike. Oh, oh they're oh, oh, I think. Oh, they're oh. hideous. They're, they're, they're they adorable. Look, shut up, Charlie. They're 100. <laughs> they're wearing little prince. They're wearing tiaras. They look like the thing on the, the in, on the wing in that Twilight Zone. <laughs> no, they <laughs> dressed <don't>. alike. <laughs> they are lovely. <laughs> of course, your, Josh's idea of a drive through birthday party means McDonald's, Wendy's. <laughs> That's right. Oh. Isn't that weird? One of them wears glasses and one of them doesn't. Ah, Isn't no. that well, it? would you want to see the other one? <laughs> no. That's what I look like. They look like if snails were people. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Pat, are you? This is our Oxford Gold. Go, Josh, go. Okay, this Golden is a brand oldie. new. It's the, the Oxford Gold uh, Oldie of the Week, brought to you by Oxford Gold. Don't forget, 855-710-GOLD. Find out what it's like to have real gold and real silver Hold in your hand. gold in your hand, baby. A little Eddie money. Here we go. Got a surprise for these two twin chicks I know. <laughs> Got them a cake to light, but it's going really slow. What's oh, taking so long? Taking so long. I've got 200 candles to light. <laughs> Grab a seat, this might take all night. <laughs> the loose dentures have lost their bite. I've got 200 candles to light. <laughs> yeah. The Lawn Starter Lawn Care Company has compiled a list of the best cities for gardening naked. I don't understand this. The number one city for naked gardening is uh, Miami, Florida. San Jose. Oh, okay. That's dangerous. Well, yeah, why is that? You're, you're that close to the sun. Oh, you're, Bugs. You're naked. Your you're creamy, supple buns, Josh. Are Thorns. Get, um, creamy and supple. Yeah. No, they're going to get too much sun. You don't want to have... Yeah, you're right. Well, he's got ass skin cancer. Uh, <laughs> what? Did, well, didn't they open for Marilyn Manson? <laughs> How about skin cancer on his ass? How about that? Oh, it's called ass skin cancer. Ass skin oh, cancer? Ass yes, it sounds like you're saying ass skin cancer. Ass skin. Like you get it from asking too many questions. Welcome back to ass skin cancer. <laughs> cancer? Why are you so mean? Well, here's the thing I like to think about when I think about cancer. So, uh, who, on, who would garden naked? Followed by Austin, Texas, Seattle, Washington, Atlanta, Georgia, and Portland, Oregon. Yeah, I don't understand. All hippie cities, huh? Lawn Starter based its rankings on a variety of metrics, including the size of the city's nudist population, oh. local legality of nudity, <laughs> gardener f uh, gardener friendliness, what and whether Gardner it was like <laughs> <laughs> and whether it was likely to be sunny and warm on May first, which is. World Naked Gardening Day. That's right. That's a thing. Yes, it is. Did this... that pass the U.S. Senate? Did they take the time to... Oh, I'm sure they this? didn't. Hooray, hooray. The first day of May. Outdoor sex begins today. There you go. See? Huh. Love What's it. that from? That's how it's... I that's, th that's what world I'm saying. We've naked Day. Yeah. 
The cities that are the least conduct are conducive, rather, to gardening in the nude are... Anchorage. <laughs> you know what? That's not on my list. No, okay. Uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. Oh. Do you like to garden naked? No, I've never gardened naked before. How about plowing naked? Have you ever done that? Ooh. No, I've never plowed. Have you ever I'm not a Josh? farmer. Oh, I've plowed naked before. <laughs> well, sometimes I leave my shirt on. Have you been plowed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are being the naughty. Sh- the Shangri-La Ranch in New River, Arizona is the number one nudist RV park. How about that? In America. Well. Well, tell them about your experience there, Josh. Oh, yeah, I was there for the uh, Wanna Bango Festival. <laughs> and, uh, it was nice. Bango. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Tell, yeah. tell the part about where you, you, where you took your clothes off and scared the crows away. That's right. Yeah, they thought I was. What? Uh, I, they, they, they went, wow, where'd they get all that straw for such a large. What what do you, how, how do you want me to bully myself? You got it here. You don't want to go. Huh? Pat, do you have a song? I do, yeah. Well, oh. I don't necessarily, but I'll dust off an old character. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Who's oh. this? Oh, little, <laughs> check out. Oh, little Leon Mudball. Oh. Give me a oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like to work in the garden, butt naked, walking around nude in the yard. <laughs> So in my seat of my birthday suit, if it's hot, hot though I get too hot. Oh, sure. I like to clip the hedges mm, and trim my edges for all the neighbors to see. I'm into horticulture in the buff, the way that God made me. A little dirt on my knees. I get some sun in my tush. I like to plant my tulips by the bush. Gardening naked, out nude in the yard. Oh. You gotta watch out for spider mites, snails, and ants when you're working in the garden without no pants. <laughs> All the mess with your tomatoes. <laughs> Bite your carrot and potatoes. <laughs> Our God is naked. Out nude in the yard. Yeah. Good morning, yeah. Miss Jenkins. Are you enjoying the view? <laughs> oh, don't shake your head at me. I was talking about the TV show. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, everybody. everybody. Nice to see you, young man. That's very nicely done. Oh, Leon. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time.